third time you've played uh, Minnesota here over the yeah. last 10 days. Uh, there's no surprises. There's just a thought on maybe where your team's game is at coming off that victory on Friday. Yeah, I thought it was a good game last game for us. Obviously, um, as you said, this is our third time in a short period versus the same team. And I think when you find yourself in those type of situations, you have to um, understand where you've had a little bit of success and understand where areas or parts of your game can get better. And so we're looking to do that tonight. We're going to look to elevate and we're going to look to adjust. Well, it's kind of like a mini playoff series. It's like three games in, what is it, 10 days or something crazy like that, which it doesn't happen often. Uh, we learned from last, uh, last game. I think uh, they're obviously a really good team and, and they're a heavy team. They like to play on the cycle and uh, they got some really good players, I think, for us. Um, you know, it's, it's getting getting in the ozone as much as possible, kind of limiting their ability to move around in our zone. And uh, I think uh, we did a good job with that. I think we had uh, all four lines contributing and just a, a big team effort. So we're going to do that again tonight. You played a third of the season to try to get lines to stay together for a while. I mean, is yeah. Coach, coach, yeah. that's the way it goes. I'm no different than anybody else. I, I really like uh, an understanding of consistency um, when it comes to that stuff. Um, but at the same time, um, we can't afford to wait for anybody either. Uh, we need everybody's best effort. And uh, when we have people going, that makes it competitive for ice time. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I like it when we've had a measure of consistency. But uh, part of that is we found ways to win those games. So it's, it's been, we've been able to keep uh, things together. Um, you know, I think as we start returning some players here to full health, uh, all of a sudden, as I said yesterday, it's, it's, it's a competition to get into our lineup and it's a competition for privileged ice time. And I think when you have competition, uh, what happens is uh, it's real healthy for your, your team and organization. Uh, Kyler Yamamoto, do you feel like he's coming off two of his best games of the year? So no, I think he's coming off um, three of his best games. Has he played two since his injury? Or three. three, three. So yeah, I actually, I'm going to change that. I think he's played four of his best games. I thought one of his, the game in Tampa was one of his best. At that, up to that point, was the best game he played this year. Uh, you know, he certainly came back in and came in where he left off. So um, that's a credit to him getting healthy and putting the work in. And I think when we have him in the lineup, it slots people in the proper positions, and um, you know, it makes us a deeper team. You know, ever since I've came back, you know, I've, I've been feeling really good, um, you know, feeling more like myself. So, um, you know, it's a good start, but i got to keep it up. For, for you to create offense, how do you feel you do that when you're playing your best? Um, just working hard. Um, you know, I feel like my game definitely relies on my work ethic. Um, you know, if I'm working, um, I feel like I'm creating chances, getting to the net, um, you know, shooting, um, some kind of stuff like that. So I think that's how I kind of base it off of. I pride myself on second chances and, um, you know, all those little things around that. So um, I think that's huge for our line especially, um, you know, to get those second chances, keep the puck in. Um, you know, anytime you're keeping the puck in and getting those second chances, um, you know, you'll be rewarded. You know, when you have some skill that has that type of will, um, it's a tough combination. Uh, so, you know, the level of tenaciousness on loose pucks, like you said, or winning, winning loose puck races or playing inside people's equipment to establish position, all those things are, um, you know, part of Yamo's game. But that's the type of game we want to play, whether you're five foot six like he is or whether you're six foot six like some of our guys are. We want to play a hard game. We want to be a hard team to play against. And um, I like what you said, it's as much will as it is skill.